Now, before talking about the rest of the components of the uh, GUI, let's talk about the mouse listeners. The book starts by talking about mouse listeners, which are uh, actions that we will perform based on the mouse location or the mouse being clicked or released and so on. So um, let me go back to the code and let's try to do something. I want to change the color, the font color whenever I hover over the button. Just make it light up. So what I'll need to do is I will need to implement the mouse listener interface. So uh, we're already implementing action listener. So implement mouse listener. And I will need to import mouse listener. So import mouse listener from java.awt. And now I got errors here because I will need to implement the unimplemented methods of mouse listener. So I can just click here. It's going to add them to the bottom of my code. So let's go and see what methods got added. So we have mouse clicked, which is basically when you click the mouse mouse pressed and then we have mouse released and we have mouse entered and we have finally mouse exited so what I want to do is I want my button to change color whenever I hover over the button so whenever I enter the area of the button I want it to change color I want to change the text color basically so what I will do here is I will say okay whenever I come to my button I will say button dot set foreground and then well I will provide the color now for the colors you can use RGB which is something we'll talk about later which is red green blue but for right now we can ju just call the color from the Java classes dot and let me make it red whenever I hover over this Okay. I just need to import it so control shift O to import color and if you are importing it directly you can just import java.awt.color so uh, what I what I want to do is when I get out of the button so now this is gonna happen and uh, when I enter the button area it is going to change the text to red but then if I leave it it's going to stay red I need to turn it back to black so I'll copy the same line of code in here and I will make this black and let me go back into my constructor now I need to add the mouse listener because if I don't, need, if I don't add the mouse listener it is again not going to know when to call those methods so I'll come here and say button dot add mouse listener and I'll say this save it and let's turn it on now if I hover over the button you see it turns red if I go away it turns black back again and uh, if I click it it's going to say hello world as we established from the previous example you can do more things so uh, you can come here and say for example when mouse pressed uh, let me make it yellow and when it's released let me make it blue So let me save this and run it. Now red, black, yellow, and when I release it, it's blue. When I leave the parameter of the button, it's going to return back to black. Now this is not the only thing we can do with mouse listener. Not just changing colors. We will see a funny example in the pre in the upcoming video on how we can utilize the mouse events but this is just an introduction to show you that you can indeed do things based on whether you're hovering over something whether you're getting out of something clicking something 
all of those are going to be available options for your mouse listener.